breaking the proton in smaller and smaller pieces is not going to give them an uh, answer on how the universe functions. But actually understanding the nature of the proton and why it's so stable is actually much more fundamental. So I would say between the proton and the fundamental particle, if you're looking for the fundamental particle, that would be the plum. And you're not going to build an accelerator with the energy levels necessary to be able to scatter Planck, surf, you know, Planck entities off the surface. That you would need, like the math add up exactly that when you would get the Planck, the accelerator would have to be a black hole. So <laughs> you know, the accelerator, we have black holes. They're doing a really good job. We just got to figure out the math. And I did. You know, and when you add it all up, it gives the correct mass for the proton. And it's telling you that the mass emerged from the Planck field. What else do you need? I mean, it's right there. And now we have it for the electron, which is really exciting. For all the table of elements, for all the electrons, it comes out perfect. Like very, very close to perfect. 99.9999999, you know? So, uh, and then the other number is eight, right? So that's percent accurate so that that's pretty good I, i'm happy with that.